Hello my listeners, what's up, hope you're all good. In this short video, I'm going to teach you why you need, or I'm going to inform you, or I'm going to explain to you why we need to learn the passive voice. It is very important as a learner of English to know and to learn why you need the passive voice. So, please, leave whatever you're doing and listen to this short clip or short illustration of how to use the passive voice. Come with me first. Why do we need the passive? Or why do we use the passive? Number one, we use the passive voice when we don't know the person or people who did the action. Again, I repeat that. Whenever you don't know the person or the people who did or performed the action, use the passive voice. Okay? For example, the car was stolen. This sentence, we don't know who stole the car and neither is it important to us or the listener. You just tell them, my car was stolen because you don't know the thief. So, that sentence is passive. Number two, we use the passive voice to emphasize the agent. We use the passive voice to emphasize, to put focus on the agent. For example, they were taken by the police. The by is talking about the agent. It's emphasizing who did the action. That is the agent, the police. Remember, police are agents. It's a very good example. Agent Ronnie is a policeman. So, he does something. Okay? So, to emphasize who did the action, we use the passive voice. Now, you see the reason why we need it? Good. Let's continue. Three. People use the passive voice to be more formal and polite. If you want to be formal, to sound formal, you know, official, and to be polite, we use the passive voice. For example, my assignment is done. Hear that? My assignment is done, sir. This is formal and polite. Instead of saying, I finished doing my assignment or I've finished my assignment. Have it. That isn't right. Use passive. My assignment is done or is finished or is completed. That's more formal and uh, good language. Four, and probably the last one. You must or you can or you should use the passive voice when the action is more important. If the action is more important, use the passive voice. For example, you've seen it in the news, in the media, everywhere. Everybody's talking about actions. For example, the people were killed. You see, that action killed. The buildings were destroyed. You see, the action is more important. We're stressing the action. The buildings were destroyed by the earthquake. Many people have been infected. Yeah, infection is the is the action. Is the hope you've seen the importance of passive voice. Learn these and many from my website. I'll be making videos for you so that I can teach you how to understand this modern English. Please. Visit my website at www.englishhack.com and also don't forget to subscribe. Just subscribe and click on that like button. See you. Bye-bye.